and see how far we can push it. So we are doing a global footsies <laughs> tournament next Thursday, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, yeah, I should drop the link to that. I should go find the link. Ooh, what do we got? Okay, actually, that kind of sounds sick. Actually, seeing high level footsies gameplay. Right, I'm excited. What does that dude. even look like? I don't. I don't know. I'm excited to see what happens. Um. Now nah, you got to do it, pal. And it's fun. Like, and the thing about footsies is it, you know, like everything else is stripped down, right? So it's all about whiff punishing. Oh, yeah, it's all about playing footsies. So it's it's gonna be dope. Uh, we've got some really good commentators lined up. It's gonna be a hell of a night. I'm excited, and it'll be streamed right here at Twitch.tv. So let's get good FTC. That's correct, Phantom Crush. We're global. Anybody in the world can play. Um, we we really want to see like how how this game runs globally with properly implemented netcode and a super simple game. So, it's going to be fun. But look at this. Sully OP back to the wall already. But again, teleporting is a, out. Is that a trade with the dive kick in the rock wall? That's what it looked like. Ooh. Yeah. Fun, funky looking stuff here. Could you imagine how shitty that would feel, dive kicking into a wall of rocks? I don't think I have to imagine that. I'm pretty sure I've done that once as a kid. <laughs> You're like, nah, man, I tested it. It did suck. It, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. The rock wall won. Yeah, dude, for sure. That's a free matchup, dude. Rockwell wins every time. Uh, I'll go find that link for the Footsies tournament real quick. Bunch, challenge. Oh, good little punish. That little duck under the hat. Oh, my goodness. That is a genius little whiff punish there, Soli OP. Taking the first round. Good stuff. This is the... Uh, all right, come on. Yeah, so this time we're seeing uh, Moscow doing his approach a little different. He's we're we're seeing actually I've like this whole tournament until now. I don't think I've really seen a single dive kick out of this boy. I've seen him do a couple of teleports. I've seen him do a lot of walking blocking. He's jumping a lot more in this uh, game though. It's opened up by the rock wall. I didn't know you could use rock walls like an anti air like that. I didn't either. I was like, what the heck? I saw Paladin get opened up by that a lot, where he staggers that string and then just does it again and counters you with it. There's something about something about that little frame trap sequence there. It apparently opens up even Mosco and Paladin. Something about it. Good little breakaway there. Alright, I'm gonna work on the Street Fighter bracket, so you are solo commentating. No problemo. Alright. Staggers the string, goes for the back throw. Interesting that he chose the back throw, because it's going to take him away from the corner, but that's okay. These guys had zero health to begin with. Ends in Fatal Blow just to make sure it kills. Uh, Mosco taking first game. I lied, he's taking the second round. I'm sorry, guys. It just looks like... The, the, the way he burnt his meter for no reason, I just assumed it was the third round. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that little dive kick? It went past the laser, and when she landed back down, it was right in his face. Good little whiff punish on the getup attack there, though. This is a quarter combo. Last place you want to be in against Moscow, for sure. Not No punish there. Oh, no punish on the teleport either. Uh-oh. Forward throw into the corner. Ooh. Frame killing. Do I want to use that word frame kill? Definitely whiff that punch there just to go for that throw. Oh no! Double burns his meter. Look, I can respect the immediate breakaway there, but that was going to be a chip kill situation either way when you break away like that. You have no defensive meter. The second your health bar gets down that low, uh, you're going to get chipped killed. Yep. Definitely a... Uh, you get get burned either way, kind of situation there. Moscow taking first. Okay, this time, Moscow taking first game. Yep. <laughs> All right, I want to see him switch. No, no switch. Spring clean. I guess he's staying a spring cleaning. I thought he had a lot more success with uh. Uh, what, what, what the 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 third variation of Cetrion? So uh, I'm wondering okay. if he's just going to feel this out because you know he's got 
like maybe two more games to lose before this grand finals is over. I'm wondering if he's gonna just keep going with this and then switch back to that variation three Cetrion if he loses after this game. That's what I'm wondering. Yep. So I can definitely see the, you know, you want that teleport because you want to get out of that corner. I totally understand that. Because with that third variation, I could totally see... I def We definitely saw Mozko definitely enforcing, keeping Soliopi in the corner there without that teleport. Okay. Gets clipped for the laser. Going for the teleport with orbiting hats. Okay. Goes for the tick throw. Off the hit on his down three. Wow, Moscow's looking a lot stronger here. Not getting zoned out almost at all mm -hmm. by Sully. He's got really, really strong pressure right now. Oh, that's <gasps> punish? a punish, though. Oh, yeah. Dead. yeah. I think that... I think I think he... I don't think he meant to do that. I think that was definitely a... I don't know if it was a missed input, but I think he was just anticipating a hit confirmed there where there was no hit. That would be my guess as to what happened there. That that was a that would be a weird thing to do on your block, you know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't think it was too intentional there. Double burns though, for the counter on the down three. He's just spending everything he has to get this corner carry so that he doesn't have to deal with the zoning game. But that's actually got him in trouble because now Sully's got him in the corner and he's out. Uh, we out of here. Oh, we out. Is he gonna? He'll do it again. He'll, he'll teleport out if he has to. Both of these characters have teleports. They're not, they're not afraid to do it. Yep. Good stuff. Ooh. The little hat he's throwing here is really stuck in his projectile options here. It's opened up by the Amplified Laser. What we're really seeing here is still OP really just trying to get a hit with that geyser. Yep. Because all the other projectiles, they are... You can definitely just throw a geyser right afterwards. But once that geyser gets blocked... It's definitely Moscow's turn to just take the whole screen. Like, as you see here. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we're seeing Soliopi back up so much in a neutral state is he's really trying to create more space. And when he creates more space, he creates more opportunities to try and get a geyser out. Good dash up and throw, though. Brutality. Yeah, that's one thing we saw, especially a lot more and later on in this game, was Moscow not doing much teleporting. Not doing much jumping, just a lot of walking blocking. And when you're backdashing as much as you were just now uh, with Cetrion, just dash up and throw. Yep. You gotta dash up and throw sometimes, you know? And yep. it definitely worked out for uh, Solio P here. Yep, yep, yep. But is the Gearus gonna come out though? Big questions I'm asking. I don't think he's gonna pull it out because I think he would have pulled it out already if he wanted to. But I guess he's just going to pull out this scorpion I've oh, never seen oh, before. Oh, okay. I mean, I believe, and this was early last year that I remember having this conversation, but Greggles did say, if you're playing MK11, you got to have a pocket scorpion. So Moscow buying into the buying into the rules, right? Got to have a pocket scorpion. Like, we, we talked about it earlier. Moscow seemed like he was really having, especially initially, a spacing issue of just getting zoned out by the Cetrion. Why not have a teleport that comes from behind, like Scorpion does, right? Mm -hmm. That definitely would work out for me. That definitely would get rid of your zoning if you could just teleport behind your opponents like that. Yep, and definitely yep, yep. understand this situation. Yeah, I think it's a smart pick, right? The question is, does Moscow have an actual Scorpion? Okay, gets the overhead from the distance. Okay, meaty. <gasps> Wake up. I am con I'm convinced he's got a pocket Scorpion. I'm not surprised. I don't think I don't think Moscow's the kind of guy. I think he low key like plays a lot of characters and he just never pulls them out. I think that's what's up with Moscow. I think mm -hmm. he's a freak. And he just <laughs> you think he's a freak? Admit it. Yeah, that's fair. He just got hella characters. Okay, the spear. Bop. Okay, doesn't. Oh, goes for the restand instead of cashing out. Mhm. Mm hey, restands are a good idea because hey, you know what? You, there you, there are no wake up options if you just, just are left standing like that, right? Mhm. Mm I see it a lot, especially with uh, V1 Sub-Zero, where the optimal thing is to do less damage and not knock them down, right? Right. I definitely understand that situation that uh, Moscow's deciding to do here. It definitely works out for him, taking the first round. Yeah. 
And remember, Scully's got to reset the bracket, right? He's got to win six against Moscow, which is not a small task. No. Moscow's going to drag it out. He's going to pull out all those characters. He's going to mm -hmm. give you a hard time. Oh, gets him with the overhead from far. Okay, throw. Yeah, one thing, if you don't know, in the Aftermath update, apparently they made that uh, overhead, like, lows. They made it faster, if I recall correctly. The startup, a lot less startup on it, making it a little harder. I would say almost impossible to react to online. Mm. But that's me being a scrub and being bad at the game. So maybe Soliopi can react to it. We'll see. we'll see. The geyser's trying to catch something. Okay, pushing it back with a rock wall. Meter burning to get an electric scoot. It's dangerous to be throwing out your geysers and your projectiles. Yep. At the at the risk of that teleport, right? So you got to be really, really careful with how you want to zone. Yeah, I think, I think the that's thing what Moscow's looking out for. Yeah, but I think so far, like Moscow hasn't. Oh, there it is! Just as I was about to say, Moscow hasn't shown the ability to react with that. Then we see it. Okay. <gasps> I think that was a chip. Either way, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You'll know when it's a chip kill when the defensive bars are not so much empty as they are absent. They are gone. They, are, uh, they, they turn invisible. So when when they are used, it shows the uh, defensive bar being empty. But if they get chipped out from last breath, then they disappear entirely. I did not know that. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was a that was a, I didn't recognize that Tom. That was a good little pickup from you and Moscow. Apparently he saw that too, and he went for that teleport. Yeah. All right. Are we gonna see a character switch from Sully? No, sticking nope. with the Cetrion. Sticking with spring cleaning too, if I okay. saw that correctly. I think he'll switch eventually. Uh, wait, no. Isn't this the last game? Isn't he? This is tournament point. Right now? This is tournament point for Moscow. Yeah. Yeah, this is tournament so, point. So Sully's I guess committed. he really believes in this variation. Yeah. Ah, spring cleaning, I suppose it is. Look, man, it's an important part of adulthood, right? Spring hits, you clean the house up a bit, you dust some shit, you reset your home after the winter lull. I sure wish it was spring right now. No, man, I want that fall weather. I'm basic, dude. <laughs> Give me Natalie and Bruglia, some flannels, and a goddamn pumpkin spice latte. Ooh, the down two from Moscow. As Meter good as burn. a pumpkin spice. We're going to have some damage here. 38%. <sighs> Look at this pressure, man. It's like rain on a wedding day. Okay, uh, this scorpion, this scorpion gameplay. Oh, he's not oh, so much doing. Oh. He's not doing so much like full combos as he is just. You kept getting opened up by all these random hits. He's yep. definitely got the pressure on point here. Yep. Yeah, he's just using stagger pressure and some little little baby schmixes, and it's working. So what is this backdashing? Can you cancel the teleport back early to not switch sides? Yes, that is him burning meter on his uh, teleport. Okay to go back, if I recall gotcha. correctly. Okay, so that's a meter burn version to stop the teleport. So you can meter burn earlier and you can meter burn late, depending on your and choice. And you can like <gasps> run away Ooh, punish. full screen and be just completely safe. That's crazy. And it's wild too, because Scorpion can actually compete with the zoning game against Cetrion. Yeah, Ooh, also the see, names are on the wrong sides. Whoops, switch sides. That's Whoop. what's cool about Reborn Variation Scorpion. He can play the spacing game on his own terms. If if Scorpion doesn't want to end his turn up close in your face, look, he'll double wow. burn his bar and end up full screen, and he'll engage with you when he wants to engage with you. Yeah, and look at the oh, he Rick Hurst with the spear. This should be dead. Bop, bop, finisher. Give me and a what? fatality, Doctor Moscow. Give me a fatality, Doctor Moscow. Ah. Oh. All right, boys and ladies and everyone else. Scorpion here, Mosco the Beast. You're. Final champion for bar fights this year. Wouldn't have it any other way. Great showing from Moscow. Great showing from Soli OP. Yeah, Hope to first see you time, and like showing up to the tournament for the first time and taking second place is nothing to be upset about, right? Mm -hmm, um, absolutely. Moscow, great to see. I'm glad you were here with us all along the way. I'm glad you stuck around. Great showing yeah. from everyone. Glad to be here with you all today. We'll be moving on to the Street Fighter V now. I think we're in top eight. Mm, close. Close they, enough. They've only won one. They've only ran one round of a uh, pool so far, so we should be moving pretty light along. Ah, excellent. Um, thank you all for joining more mail again, man. Thank you all the work for all the work you've done for us this year. Thank you for all the work you do do for us at Doo Doo, and thank you for commenting with me tonight, man. Teach me a bunch about MK. It's been super fun, my brother. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. thank I'll you. see you at the uh, MK Ultimate update. 
Yes, sir. I'll be I'll be rocking that rain. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'll be rocking that Rambo. I'll catch you guys at the Street Fighter Five stream. All right, we're gonna cut to a quick match rando break while I figure out how to switch to the PC. We'll do a cocktail mm -hmm. tutorial and we'll get this game going. So uh, stay tuned. 